<laughs> Hi Libras, it is Billy and I'm doing an astrology reading for you if your Libra is like, the, that's what your sun sign is. Like, uh, keep in mind your moon and your Venus and your Mercury, wherever they are, they're all up in, in your chart, that matters too. But, yeah, you have to keep that all in mind. And so you can't just use this one reading to like put everything in a nutshell of a person and you can't analyze a person just by one aspect of their sign because you have to take the whole chart. And in a future date, I might go into like how to read a chart and like actually like put it all together. But here's for the Libras. This is the second air sign of the Zodiac under the rulership of the planet Venus. Within this sign, we can find women who relate so much to the idea of the association with the beauty of their ruling planet that they become the love goddess themselves. Venus is recognized as controlling beauty on the surface. Love goddess born under the sign tend to have outward peltitude, but not much an inner warmth. Libra is the bridge, the linking sign between the emotional coldness of Virgo and the contrasting excitements of the heat of Scorpio. Although the symbolic sign of Libra is the scales, which are subject to the sign like to interpret as indicating balance. The ancient astrological emblem was a straight line surmounted with a curved line, rather like that of a child's idea of a bridge. As the seventh sign of the zodiac, Libra is associated with occultism and numerology, the science of numbers. In nature, seven is a significant number. There are seven days of the week, and in the cycle, of life, seven represents the reoccurring pattern when the human begin, human being finds renewal of physical, mental, and spiritual strength. In the mysterious Kabbalah, seven is the number in which means perfection. The idea that Libra, the seventh sign, is the sign of reevaluating probable accounts, probably accounts for the idea of representing balance. In nature, we know that nothing can be without flaw, and subjects of Libra need a good marriage more than anyone else if they are ever to begin to find their own state of perfection. Ironically, although marriage should be easily achieved by all Librans, the subject undergoes much more personal embarrassment and emotional turmoil in the approach to sex than do most subjects of other signs. Perhaps, with their great burning desire to see loveliness in everything, it is inevitable that Librans often see the sex act is something outside the concept of beauty. Even though being loved sincerely and tenderly provides the balm and transformation of animalistic acts into one which is nearer to being a sacrament offered by two people, lib liberans often enjoy being loved. Indeed, they demand and accept love as their divine right, and just as kings and queens of ancient days accepted tribute, kings and queens gave nothing in return. And so it is only too often that the liberans they constantly accept adoration, but they are not capable of returning it in any kind. The sad thing about so many love goddesses of all ages is that their gorgeousness of face and form. Despite all the desires that they can stir in members of the opposite sex, they are merely delightful decoration vehicles which cannot function adequately. Lib Librans, like all good things of life, physical, comfort, pleasant surroundings, charming accessories, the financial means to dress well and be well-groomed. The image of beauty is constant. Refinement, grace, and fascination of nature. There are always makes a deliberate effort to seek harmony, even though they offer a resort to hypocr hypocrisy and procrastination. A tendency to vacillate in other one of the reasons why liberans need a strong mate to provide the balance which helps him maintain his equilibrium. Sometimes, liberans are almost frenetic in their search for love. This is particularly notable in libran women who are in the public eye, immersed in exciting professions, given opportunities to meet many fascinating men, enjoying the glamorous existence, making the news. The liberans are set to, to positions to make many expeditions in the garden of love. They may venture into marriage after marriage, but generally after a few years, they emerge puzzled and bewildered, wondering why each marriage has failed, or why the love with which one liaison began has not been sustained. The liberan woman on the ordinary sphere of endeavors is not so advantageously placed. She wants to find love even as much as her more glamorous astrological sister does, but she may have to settle for second best. 
and she is just as bewildered with her negative results. Rarely, however, does the Libran woman perceive any fault in herself, and so it is a hard struggle to find love. If not a perfect lover goes on, all too often the same reoccurring negative patterns. It is the case of being in love with love and forgetting that at the base of the romantic image lies the intangible, dangerous, mysterious force, sex, and comes a time when reality has to be faced, when the lofty dreams of love must give way to the physical demands of sex, unless there is a point, a joint, of giving the self a merging of two forces, sex can only seem ugly. This is a distinct contradiction to what all of Liebman's want. The romantic wooing, flowers, candies, phone calls, the sweet words of love, the care and attention of a man who is immersed, can be the elixir of life to a Libran, and a little subtle flattery thrown in as well, so much the better. If life could be proceeded along these fairy tale lines, if love was truly a matter of charming prince forever, wooing beautiful ladies, then Librans could be happy. Sorry. Checking the time. It is when they suddenly are face to face with the fact that after Prince Charming kissed Sleeping Beauty so innocently, she probably went to bed with her, that disillusion sets in. And when it does, the modern love goddess turns away from the truth and begins to sink, seek new admirers who will place them on their unrealistic pedestal in a world of make-believe. It takes a long time for Libran females to get to know themselves. Being in love with love, she is likely to make her early teenage marriage that is a disaster, to the outset of convinced that she is embarking on a lifetime of eternal bliss. Generally, some helpful members of the family can extricate such as a Libran from the alliance when it proves to be too unbearable. Rarely does the Libran woman suffer from an unnecessary, vi unnecessary violence or personal exposure in the divorce count courts. Such manners are generally attended to with all the finances that a typical that is typical of Libran. The public is only conscious of a beautiful, helpless woman. She emerges emerges as the heroine, her partner as the villain. Marriage can be never ending series of un of experiences for the Libran, who is always seeking the right mate, always wanting perfection in a partner. Both sexes possess a tremendous magnetism. They attract members of the opposite sex who flock about them like moths to a flame. And true to nature, the flame survives through the moth is damaged. The Libran always evidences of affection manner, but this has little relationship to the heart. It is more of a form of social graciousness than a desire to show pleasant exterior than any deep felt emotion. It is inevitable that astrologers see Libran as a sign of selfishness, but on the other hand, there are so many multigrading circumstances that ruse sympathy in the astrology in the astrologer he knows that libran selfishness is never motivated by evil actually librans are their own worst enemies emotionally deprived of the capacity to know real love even though they even though not many Librans willingly acknowledge this fact, these subjects will substitute such things as the acquisition of money, the arts of objects and indulgences, and the pleasure of kind of social life in which they can maintain a facade that makes them worthy of notice. Rather than becoming, becoming deeply attached to another human being, Libra women thrive as affable hostesses, and they can make a career of gracious living when they have money enough to do so. No one is more adept in the art of flirtation than a Libra hostess but she plays at the game of romance, especially if she has already made more than one excursion into marriage. Librans are even so immature as to indulge in small dramatic episodes in which they play one admirer off against another. No one would be, would be suitor of a Libra female. No would-be suitor of a Libra female would ever accept to make a date unless he gives her quite a lot of notice. She needs time to plan her wardrobe and any husband who thinks that they can rush a Libran wife through such an important activity and make up during her hair would have to learn to fret and fume over encompassing noises of her. Get quick to it. He will be far happier when he realizes that all cosmetics are essential to the Libran woman and that time to attend to herself is vital. He may be well resigned to himself to the fact that he can probably read a good many books to improve his mind during the hours he will spend waiting for his Libran female to ready herself for even the most informal occasion. The Libran man is a luxurious, loving, gracious, and charming as the woman sign, but does not make the headiness as, as often even he is famous, 
he is able to withstand the perils of being ensnared in a marriage, often being content to maintain his position as the delightful escort of a series of beautiful women. If rumor spreads about his liaison, he shrugs them off with a witty remark. Professionally, he thrives in the realm of anything allied to the creation of maintenance of beauty, hairdressers, beauticians, interior design, career, commercial artists, or painter. Although generally we interpret Librans as a as a penance love sign, there is also certain degrees within Librans that produce amazingly virile characters who become renowned for their activities in the sphere of war. A large percentage of history's greatest generals have been born under the sign of Libra, sun sign Libra. Thus it is the female Libran rather than the male who predominantly takes on the attributes of Venus. For both sexes, marriage is off to all too often a matter of convenience, rather than a desire for overwhelming adventure or passionate sex and love. Libra women seek marriage for emotional security, always hoping for the best. Libra men are inclined to escape marriage as long as possible and rarely inclined to make the best of it when they finally do take the plunge. They always find it difficult to resist the extramarital entanglements. The urge to flirt never leaves them, and like a female, they feel that perhaps the greater perfection can be obtained from the where the grass seems greener. Disillusionment never lends the same tragic court content in life of the Libra male as it does in the life of the female. Male Librans continue to function well and maintain an aura of happiness even after an unfruitful excursion into love. The Libran man appears to be a white knight, but it is rarely a great lover. Sex demands quite a lot of energy, especially in the exotic sense of the word, and Libran men can be charmingly, charmingly lazy, preferring to let their energies drift into creative endeavors rather than into the life force of sex. They appear to be the hero, intim intimidating the possibilities of a lover rather than realizing their potential. In sex and love, they are unable to face anything that saves a f serves as a failure, and they tend to avoid situations that might nurture it. While the Libran woman cannot face the idea that she is sexually inadequate, the Libran man wise enough to accept his inadequacies. He knows that he as a lover may not function at his best, and he may make take pains to place himself in positions where failure can be observed and discussed by others. In the way, the male Libran escapes an obviously tragic tragedy of the female. Until he is quite old, he continues to be the apple of some woman's eye, and he has uncanny ability to intricate himself with trickery, romance, situations without losing face before he is trapped into a permanent relationship. He will never bid an absolute goodbye to someone who he has been wooing, but he will gradually fade out of their life, leaving them bewildered, though he himself will be perfectly untroubled. His wooing is planned with the same strategy that generally borns a Libra to apply their war campaign, and indeed is the love affair of a Libra man when something is of the same quality. It is the ch challenge of the chase which fascinates. The Libran approach to romance is based on the truism, he who fights and runs live to fight another day. It is sad that so many unhappy marriages are contracted by Librans, since it is the sign where good marriages are really a necessity. But unfortunately, there is a compulsion of the Librans which causes them to reject all things that may be best for him. He frequently is attached to inferior persons and inferior elements of human existence. It is not inasmuch as marital harmony deteriorates with time, but rather that ingredients for marital harmony may have been absent from the very beginning. Yeah, well, I hope that you've enjoyed this little uh, Libran reading. Uh, the computer has kind of frozen and acting up, and I'm going on 14 minutes, and I can only do 15 minutes. So, hope that you enjoyed this, and mwah. But remember, astrology is to point out our character flaws so that we have to deal with them, so that we don't just, like, you know, become like a bastard that everyone hates. Like, we can work on our character flaws. Like, I'm a Taurus, so that makes me really materialistic and obstinate and stubborn, and I'm a Gemini, so I'm just like, blah, blah, blah. I have Gemini traits, so I'm like, blah, blah, blah all the time. I'm kind of bipolar. But then I know that, so I work on it. So you should too, Libras, because you're kind of cold. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.